Hello everyone and I'd like to welcome you back to the part 2 seri uh, video series of Network Services in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. And my name is Bruce Malaudzi and I'll be your instructor today. Um, in the part 1 video series I showed you how to uh, assign a host name to the newly installed uh, uh, Red, Hat, Red Hat 7 machine. And I also demonstrated on how to configure IPv4 and finally I demonstrated on how to configure the YAM repository. In this part 2 of the video series, uh, I'll demonstrate on how to configure network teaming. Uh, network teaming uh, replaced network bonding for uh, various reasons such as performance, stability and so forth. In this demonstration, we'll be using two interfaces. The first interface is named as it one the second interface is named as it 2 So logically, bungle these two together to create a team. Once it's bungled, and then we assign the IPv4 addresses. So this IPv4 address uh, belongs to test1 machine, and that IPv4 will belong to test2 machine. Now we need to create this interface, this uh, team interface uh, as a failover, meaning if the primary interface fails, uh, the team interface should uh, take over. So we're thereby creating uh, redundancy in networking. Now getting back to our topology over here, the GNS3 topology. Um, uh, remember that you, if you can't use GNS3, you can do the whole configuration within your VMware or VirtualBox or KVM. Just make sure that your machines belong to the same subnet. Uh, that is all. I prefer to use GNS3 for various reasons. And please, let's get started. Now, as you can see from here, um, the f uh, first machine here, here my interface is it one it 2 on the second machine, that's my interface, it one and it 2 And as you can see, it 0 is that one there, which is directly connected to the switch. it one is right here and it 2 is right here. Same applies to the second machine, it 0 is direct connected to the switch. Then it one is right, right here and it 2 is right here. So all I need to do is to log into my... Uh, virtual machines and see what we have okay here I am in my virtual machine the first machine test one machine uh, all I need to do is to is to do basic configuring uh, to check for basic uh, connectivity so I'm gonna check for my IP address So this interface is directly connected to the switch and this, this IP was configured in part one of the video series. Now I need to check my interfaces. So that is NMCLI uh, devices. As you can see, I have it zero that is connected to the, um, to the switch. Then I have it one and it two. The, these interfaces are trying to get IP from the DHCP, so you, you don't have to worry about that at the moment because there, will, there is no DHCP server configured on this network, so they'll keep on retrying and retrying and retrying. So you don't have to worry about that. We will still use those interfaces. So I can exit from there and to my second machine. Here's my second machine. Uh, IP address. So I have my IP address which was configured uh, in the part one uh, video series and I need to check NMCLI device. Okay, this as you can see this interface is connected to the switch then I have it one and it two and 
these interfaces is uh, they tried to get the uh, IP IP address through DHCP until it timed out that is why now it says disconnected so you don't have to worry about that as well here yeah? all we need to know is that these interfaces are not in use now what I need to do is I would like to <coughs> I'll exit from here and I will connect through I'll connect to these machines uh, using super party or secure CRT for the purpose of recording here I am in secure CRT uh, as you can see I've got two tabs here the first tab is test one which represent test one machine the second tab is test two which represent test two machine so let's let's confirm so on test one tab as you can see my host name is test one.example.com and what is my IP As you can see I still have that first IPv4 address let's get to the test 2 machine so let's confirm host name as you can see it's test2.example.com and what is my IP okay there is my IP address now I need to start configuring so I'll get back to test 1 machine clear the screen um, you might be wondering how the hell will you rem uh, try to remember the um, JSON configurations um, if you can't remember them and you just have to check the documentation which is which comes with your machine so I'll show you where to find the configuration files Now, as you can see, uh, you will find the examples of, of configurations under user forward slash share forward slash dog forward slash team team D. Uh, that's the version 1.15 forward slash example config. That's where you find everything there. So in my case, I would like to use a uh, redundancy, which is active backup. So I need to choose that. Now, if I press enter, this is the field which we are interested in. So I just have to copy this line, which I've highlighted. That's the line which you need. So let me clear the screen. Now, you might, you might use the... Um, nmcli command but i prefer to use nm2 i find it easier and quicker that will be nm2 so before i do nm2 uh, let me double check my network interfaces as well just to make sure everything is in place okay as you can see that on test one machine eventually the, uh, the network interfaces timed out trying to get the IPv4 from DHCP now they are showing as disconnected so that's wonderful so we can actually um, start configuring therefore I will go in up to it uh, edit connection select uh, edit connection I'll press enter then select it press enter scroll down to team select team press enter uh, team connection you can leave that uh, or you can rename it but I'll just leave as it is I would like to name my device to team 0 scroll down then I need to add my slaves so I'll say add then my slaves are Ethernet so I'll press enter and you can leave that as Ethernet connection to as default or can rename to whatever you want to name it so I like to name it to port 1 then I like to associate port 1 with it one interface so I scroll down to edit press enter 
and then I can just copy and paste my configuration which I showed you earlier save that and quit scroll down press ok now I need to add the second um, slave so I need to select add press enter Ethernet enter I can rename that to port 2 scroll down it so I need to associate port 2 with it 2 interface so scroll down to edit then I can paste the configurations save and exit scroll down to ok now we have two slaves uh, configured which will be enough uh, therefore I need to proceed so I need to scroll down get to IPv4 configuration right here so I need to change from automatic automatic is um, DHCP then I need to change from automatic to manual manual is static and in our task we are required to assign a static IP so I need to select manual then select show so that you can add your IP address so under addresses press enter on add so I need to add my IP address and this is the address which I need to assign that is 192.168.15 100 slash 24 you can ignore the gateway and dns uh, settings so we should be done at this moment so i can scroll down to quit now since i'm since i'm remotely uh, connected uh, if you want the changes to take place you need to to say uh, to type in uh, system ctl restart network or you can say system ctl restart network manager if your network manager is running so i cannot do that because i'll be disconnected um, connected remotely therefore i need to do it the other way around therefore i will go back to nm 2 we and then scroll down to activate a connection press enter scroll down to team zero then select deactivate then scroll down again to team zero then select activate so what i've done right now i've brought my team zero interface down then i brought it up again so the changes have taken effect so if i go to nmcli uh, device you can see that i have team zero which is connected and it zero is still connected so i can still check for my ip addresses so i will say ip as you can see now i have an, a new ip which is the dot hundred that's what i'm interested in now can i ping it let's for connectivity yes I can ping so which means on test one machine the configurations are done I've test, tested for connectivity it's working so let's get to test two machine so right here I'll click on the tab for test two machine and I'll make clear the screen so let me check for my interfaces as you can see i have it zero then which is connected to the switch i have it one and it two which are not in use so we can start configuring so that will be nm 2 we edit a connection so I select that and then press enter select edit press enter scroll down to team press enter uh, you can leave that as default or rename it but I'll leave it as a default scroll down to device I would like to name my team as team 0 so scroll down I need to add the slaves so my first slave it will be an Ethernet and I'll call it port 1 port 1 will be associated port 1 will be associated with it 1 scroll down my JSON configuration that is a backup 
scroll to OK, select OK. Now I need to uh, add my second slave, which is port 2. So I press add, select Ethernet, and I'd like to rename that to port 2. And my port 2, I'd like it to be associated with it 2 interface. Then I can insert my JSON configuration. So I'll just copy and paste, save that, scroll down to OK. Now I have two um, slaves configured, which is enough to create a team. So I need to scroll down, change from automatic to manual. Then select show, scroll down to addresses. I need to add my IP address that is 192.168.15.200/24. Then I can ignore the default gateway and DNS settings. Press OK, scroll down to quit. And since I'm connected remotely, I can't restart the entire service because I'll be disconnected. So I need to go back to NM2E. And then scroll down to activate a connection. Scroll down to team 0. Deactivate. Scroll down again to team 0. Then select activate. This will bring down the team 0 interface and bring it up again. Now I should have connectivity. So let's do IP address and see if I have IPv4 address. Okay, here is my new IPv4 address which I'm interested in, the .200. Uh, let me clear the screen. And NMCLI devices. Okay, as you can see here, I have my TIN0 uh, connected. So all should be well. And let me test for connectivity by using the ping command. So I'm pinging the IP. Yes, I can ping. Now what I need to do is, can I ping this? Can I ping that IP from here? So that's what I need to do. Once I can ping, then I'll try to SSH from this machine to that machine using this IP so that I can uh, make sure that I have full connectivity, the team interface is 100% working so let's get back uh, test one machine so I'll first ping the remote uh, team interface that will be 192.168.15.200 yes I can ping now can I SSH so I'll do SSH root uh, at Yes, I can connect. As you can see, I'm connected to the test two machine. Now I can exit and clear the screen. Well, um, as you can see, it's fairly easy to um, to create the uh, team interface using NM2E. And during an exam, remember you have limited time, so you might have to copy the JSON configuration from the uh, documentation which I showed you and then you just have to copy and paste on all your interface and in that way you, 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 you actually save time and this is how it's done uh, please if you have requests and comments you might uh, leave your comments you might make your requests I'll do my best to reply to you I would like to thank you for watching and I hope this has been informative. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.